Boy, mom, you. And we are going to take a look at the, the most easiest tiles that you can get. Just don't cat in the personal contact. So, first one, which is like the most easiest and most noticeable one. But I don't have it because you can convert it to zombie. It's just called a zombie talisman. And the only way you can. I'm pretty sure. Just. You can just get it from the adventure for 500 coins. Pretty cheap. And you might be wondering, but why do you not have it? Because, um, but, but first, you have to, to see the recipe of it, you have to go to Maddox, the Slayer dude, and, um, I'm pretty sure you have to be like level 2 to unlock the zombie link on level it hard. And what and you see it's an upgrade of the zombie talisman with, with a stack of 11 it flesh. Also known as you can get that from the boss that comes. And now one is the skeleton. Same thing, go to the adventure and buy it. So, we'll just cover all the adventure ones. That's what I will do. So, you can get the villager one for 2500, you can get them. The mine one, which really has diamond textures on it, kind of, but it's made. 2,500, 10,000, 10,000. So, um, for another one, we have. A campfire cutter dispatch. You can, the one cool thing that you can do with it is you can upgrade it. Like you mean the how. How do you upgrade it? And also, how do you get it? Well, you want to go to the park or go for your portal on your private island which you can unlock on the birch collection and you want to be in a dark ticket known as the dark forest well kind of like a dark forest go to the campfire and talk to lion and you want to do like once you do two of these like um fire damage through then you want to go talk to him and he'll give you this fire catalyst badge but you might notice it will be a common for you and you see that I have a well but you have to keep doing it and it upgrades he will upgrade your thing so it's pretty easy Right now I'm stuck on this one that is literally you have to survive for 10 seconds for each thing. The higher you go, the more damage the fire is gonna do. Another one is the vaccine talisman. You just craft it with all nine poisonous potatoes. You 
uh, all the time. I'm pretty sure that's in the morning. And now it is the speed towers. Why do I have to? For the speed towers, many of you might already know because speed mostly is coming from sugar cane. Turn the second, and it's pretty easy to craft. Or you want to upgrade it to the speed link, which is kind of cool. You have upgraded versions of it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is. I didn't know it was this high up for the world Towson. <laughs> Another one I pretty sure it is the candy talisman. Right now I upgraded to the candy artifact, but you can only get this in the Spooky Festival, which is a place that is really mostly a killing spree. I'm pretty sure. Because it's meant for killing, mostly. For the candy. And once you get all the candy, you can, well, just see your you just need like half of a stack or something of green candy. And then you can get your candy talisman. You can upgrade to the candy ring, candy artifact, and the candy relic. But the candy relic really costs 1,024 purple candy, so that's no time soon I'm going to get that. Um, another one is Farming Talisman, another pretty easy one, in the Tin Wheat collection, this is what it costs, and And if you're wondering how you get a accessory bag, you just go unlock it. Unlock it in the Wedstone collection. Just take a look. You don't get a recipe for it, you just automatically get it after you get it. Well, that's it. Bye!